And there we go. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing today? It is a Thursday, and I am on the internet, and so are you. Oh my gosh, I hope you're doing okay. Um, 
Good news! I have heard that Fiona is doing Stardew Valley tonight. So, this will be a sort of relatively short one, um, just under two hours. Um, and then they'll be doing Stardew Valley about half five or something, so we might overlap slightly. Um, but yes! Okay, so I guess we're just going to kind of get right into it so I can cram in as much as possible. Um, there isn't really much going on on the island today, I don't think. But obviously oh! our big project, the big thing that we need to keep doing at some point this week, and we're kind of over halfway through the week now, um, <laughs> is to actually figure out what the heck we want to do with our own house. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to be focusing on that a lot today. Who am I kidding? I'm going to get distracted by a new bug or something. Um, <laughs> anyway... Um, yeah, hope you're doing okay. Hope you're sitting comfortably. Um, if you give me just a moment, I'll have it up on your screens. Um, okay. Um, don't really have anything to report. Nothing really going on. We had a big busy day yesterday, as you can probably hypothetically guess. We had a lot going on, lots of stuff on our plate. Um, but that's all done now, and then I kind of overslept today. I'm gonna be honest, it was an exhausting day yesterday. Um, but yeah, today we'll just kick back and chill and, um, just have some fun with it, so. Let's get it up on the screen. Let's get it in your ear holes as well. Can you hear it? Seems good to me. Okay, and can you see it? Yes, also. And can I see it now? Hold on. How did D&D &D go? A pack of wild wolves stole my thieves' tools, and we spent the entire session trying to have a diplomatic um, discussion with the wolves about the value of items and... Um, that they should give no one wa no one wanted to kill the dogs no one wanted to attack them so we ended up getting the druid to speak to them and we tried to do it diplomatically and then we wasted an entire like session just trying to talk to dogs and we at the end of the session we were nowhere <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible um <laughs> but it was great um let's go Boom, boom. <laughs> oh man, I've said it a couple of times lately, but I'm really hoping very soon we hear about the plans for the next the next stage of content for Animal Crossing. Um, E3 time, although that's not happening this year, Nintendo will still almost certainly be doing a direct of some sort, surely. That, that seems like a no-brainer. And I'm really, really, I don't know, I'm at the bit where I'm kind of like running out of stuff to like do every day i'm pretty much just working on design projects right now so i just ah, i don't know in a couple of weeks i feel like we're gonna we're gonna be reinvigorated again and they're gonna be like oh by the way here's is brewster's roost here's coffee making here's all this stuff i'm looking forward to it anyway here we go hello there everyone oh my voice cracked oh god <coughs> try that again <laughs> Hello there everyone. Right now I'm Waffleham. It's 4.12pm on Thursday, May the 21st, 2020. No news to report today. Have yourselves a wonderful Thursday. Or, as I like to call it, Friday Eve. Oh, that's a much better way of looking at it. The weekend's so close I can almost taste it. Well then, Isabel's signing off. Bye bye Okay. Friday Eve is a much better sounding thing than Thursday. Just a small psychological change, and it just makes your week so much easier. Um, not that weeks matter right now. Anyway, oh, I did actually sell some stuff last night. <laughs> Hold on, we haven't done that in a while. Um, <laughs> 1,000 bells. Okay, brilliant. There we go. Right, oh, it's raining again. So, um, I, is Nemo in the chat? Is Nemo in the chat? Because I have a complaint to issue. Okay, I have a genuine actual complaint to issue to Nemo, and I don't know if they're sitting around here, but I need to show this off right now, okay? Let's go find out what our island rating is, shall we? What's that? Four stars? I'm sorry. I thought we had reached five stars just just over a week ago. Two weeks ago. I've lost track of time. Um, something must have happened to bring down our rating. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what. Let, let's see. Hold on. Let's just have let's just have a look. Um, skip past the the feedback here. Let's just have a look at what Isabel thinks might be the problem. 
Um, let's see. Um, there's not much to complain about, though I do have one teeny tiny concern. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of our feedback mentions there are too many items lying around cluttering up the island. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gee, I wonder where all of that could have come from. Okay. Thank you, Isabel. I was sorry. I was just talking to you to prove a point. Um. So, <laughs> thank you. I I purely blame Nemo and the eggs and absolutely nothing else. Um. And you might be thinking, oh, but Zoe, you put a lot of blueprints down, you know, in your plaza. Surely that's what's actually bringing the rating down. And to that I say, nope, it's Nemo. <laughs> I. I have cleared every branch, every stone, every blueprint, every item I could find clearing it up and I still don't know what could be causing it and I'm assuming there's just like a couple eggs somewhere that I've missed and I cannot find them and it's really infuriating. <laughs> I, so what, what happened basically last night, you know, I was sorting through all my flowers, you know, realizing, hey, we got the golden rose, that's cool. But wait a minute, isn't there supposed to be the special flower that only spawns when you have a five-star island? Surely I would have seen that by now. And I looked around, couldn't find it. I went to talk to Isabel and realized, oh, that's why. So, <laughs> so that's fun. Um, <laughs> I guess I know what we have to do today at some point, but for now... Let's check out the, the mail and stuff, shall we? Here we go. Oh yeah, we ordered a whole bunch of things for the campsite, didn't we? There we go. So let's take all that. Sort all that out in a second. Jolly Reds. Okay, so yeah. Oh yeah, we ordered the... um. Oh, Starry Night, didn't we? Yes. And what does Sherb got to say? I got you a thing, honey nut. I wanted to surprise you with a thing, so I bought you a thing, and then sent it to you because I wanted you to have it. And now you have the thing, and I sent it to you, so enjoy it because it's your thing now. Yay! Do you like the thing? Okay. <laughs> um, let's see what the thing was, shall we? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, Sherb, what, you, what did you put in this present? <laughs> oh god, the timing. Oh dear, sorry about that. <laughs> Ah, oh, a toy box. There we go. Lovely. We could have that in the tourist center for any like kids to play with when they're bored, waiting to come through like the travel center. Sure, that's a thing now. Um, <laughs> what else did we get? So we got Starry Night. Starry, Starry Night. I've got a lot of fossils to give to Blathers anyway, so I guess we'll be heading over to the museum very quickly. Look at all these eggs I've picked up. Thirty-nine eggs. I have found on the island, and I am sure there are more that I've missed, seriously. I don't know why- why did you do this to me? <laughs> 49! Oh my god, I didn't even math it right! It's 49! Oh my gosh! <sighs> Sorry, I carried the one, but I carried it too far. Um, so- <laughs> Okay, well, gee, I don't even know what to- I don't even know how to solve all- the, I don't- I'm sure there's like an egg behind Nook's cranny or something like that. You've hidden them like behind trees, maybe? I don't know what you've done with them. I don't- where- is there one here? No, I don't know. <laughs> no, nope, there's none there. How, how have you done this? I don't understand where they are. Oh, we've got some purple stuff growing here as well. Oh, these flowers are really starting to, to come all together. I have no idea what I'm doing with all this. <laughs> this entire section are just random flowers growing, but maybe at some point we'll just get a random cool thing. Um, you know, I am wondering if you've done any like cliff hopping and if you've put anything secret like behind these cliffs somewhere, behind the moon. Hold on, I'm going exploring. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I can't see behind the panels. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh my god, I can't see if there's even an egg here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. Fine. 
There may forever be an egg there and I'll never know and then two years later We'll just have a really weird smell coming from behind the museum and not not be quite sure what it is Okay, well, it's fine. It's fine people are right in that I do have a bunch of stuff clattered around my house like all the Nook Miles tickets maybe you know there are some certain amount of clutter you're allowed, so maybe if I just pick all that stuff up, even if there are just a few eggs kicking about, it won't matter and I can just ignore them. Anyway, let's check out the cranny. Wait, okay, maybe I was too hasty. I just realised. We have literally 1,000 turnips on our beach. Um, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. It's not my fault. It's definitely not my fault. I blame Nemo. But hold on, hold on. If we can sell them today, and then there's still a problem, then we can blame Nemo again. Nope, that's not happening. Um. <laughs> um, this one's quite cool. Do we have this one yet? Because this might actually work out better for our kitchen in in the restaurant. Because then we can actually space it out a bit better. Open frame kitchen. Hundred forty thousand. Okay, that's a, that's a bit more than I thought, but um, we can afford it. We do have a lot in our bank, and I do think that would come in very useful, so maybe. I like that I ordered one of these from the Nook Shopping on the day that they were in the cranny anyway. Oh well. <laughs> okay. Uh, -ba -bum. Oh, I like that lattice wall. And the screen wall. Oh, there's actually some pretty cool stuff here. Hmm. Yeah, we go for the lattice wall. There we go. Lovely. Excellent. Okay. And then we go check out Abel's, and then we know how much money we've spent today, and then I come back and pick up that kitchen thing. Then we donate all this stuff to the museum. Then we put all the campsite gear that we've ordered and lay it all out in our campsite to make it perfect. And then, if we have time, I'll figure out where to move my house. Okay, unfortunately it looks like Derwin is in here shopping, which means that thought balloon we were hoping to, um, to put on them won't happen until they're out of the shop, awkwardly. The screen wall is used to make the gold screen wall? Ooh, I didn't know that, okay. Might head back and um, do that at some point. Um, anyway, what have we got? I think we just have like normal sports cap. Is that like a baseball cap kind of? Yeah. Get it in red, I think. Steampunk glasses. Oh, there's not much today that we don't already have. That's fine. I mean, we have been buying a lot. Um, <laughs> a ridiculous amount. Um, okay. If you ignore it, tomorrow it might be on someone else, or it might be on the same person, it's just random. But basically it moves around day by day, as long as you don't... If you don't, um, do anything with it, like, you can't accept it or deny it. You just have to completely ignore it and not talk to them. Which is kind of awkward when it's on someone you really want to give a gift to, but... Yeah. Mm, not much today. I think I'll buy that as well, though. I don't think we have it in that shade, and that does look cool. There we go. Okay, right. I need some money. Well, I guess I'll donate the fossils first, free up some space. <laughs> I'm good at inventory management. I know what I'm doing. Definitely. Oh, I forgot the stamp rally is happening today, but we we always get the same prices, prizes, don't we? Yeah, so not really fussed about doing it again. We've done it a few times now. Um, anyway, what we got? Assess some fossils. Here we go. I have not played TTT with anyone from Achievement Hunter yet. No, Illuminor. I don't understand the question and I won't respond to it. <laughs> Wait, 
Literally every single one of those fossils was a duplicate. That's wow, that's unlucky. Okay. Wow. Well, maybe we can still use them for the fossil site. And I do still have a painting to give you, so... There we go. What do we get? Iguanodon skull, pterodactyl, megalo, brachio, T-Rex skull. Okay, the T-Rex skull could be cool. Okay. Woo! <gasps> it's real! It's real! It's real! Yes! Owl's honor! Excellent! I kind of want to go and, and see that right now in the art gallery. Yeah, I feel like the fossil wing is probably the wing people will finish first, usually, but that those that last little stretch when you're just needing like three or four fossils and you keep getting dupes, it's... Yeah, it's draining. <laughs> but eventually, I think we'll all get the fossil wing um, pretty soon. It's the other ones that are going to take a while, especially this one. The art gallery one, I, I'm i not going to ever finish this, I worry. Right, where's Starry Night? Starry, starry night. Where are you? Aha, there we go. It was right there. <laughs> Oh, not that one. Twinkling painting. The Starry Night, Vincent van Gogh, 1888. 18, no, I, wow, I forgot what numbers were. 1889, oil on canvas. Van Gogh's signature piece, painted while he was hospitalized at an asylum. The view from his room includes memories and imaginations. In letters to friends, the artist called it a failure. I actually watched um, a sort of documentary about Vincent van Gogh. Um, a couple of weeks ago, and they mentioned this. He was he was locked up in the asylum, and this was the view he could see from his window, and all of the all of the lights in the sky basically just was the only thing he could focus on and paint. And um, I think it's a really really deep and really cool piece. I don't know of all the pieces in this game, it's probably the one I I recognise the most. Well, except for like maybe the Mona Lisa. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I think I think it's kind of sad that Vincent Van Gogh doesn't will never know how impactful some of the stuff he's done is i don't know man i'm kind of choking up about that a little bit like it's actually a really sad thing um but yeah i i really think that painting is beautiful i really really do anyway isn't that just the lamest sentence in chat doctor who showed him it's fine doesn't that just sound like really sad that that's his, that's, how, oh my god. <laughs> I know, I, oh man, I know it was actually quite a good episode, I remember watching it, but like, th when you take it out of context and think, it's okay, Doctor, Sh Doctor Who showed him, I, I couldn't help but facepalm now, like, oh god, no, that's not good, that should not be his legacy. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> right, let's get some let's get some let's get away through all that. Um let's get some money out. Um and let's buy that kitchen island because I think that will actually fit in quite well. Even if not for the restaurant, I think we could maybe use it in the diner or just somewhere, even in our own house. So, um, seems like a very good item. Hey guys! None of you have a thought balloon on. That's good. Wondering who does, though. Kinda wanna look around quickly. If we see... So our contenders are... Oh! Right, of course! Duh! The campsite moved! <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally didn't <laughs> remember that! Um, <laughs> wow! That happened! Um, anyway, our contenders for the Thought Bubble for moving out are Plucky, Marina, and, um, Derwin. Now, we saw Derwin at Able Sisters, and Marina seems to be fishing, so they don't have a Thought Bubble on them. Um, also, I know Marina is actually quite a sought-after, um, resident, so if we do end up, um, with Marina leaving, of course we're trying, um, pass them on to someone else that has a plot available. Um, but maybe Plucky is somewhere with a bubble? Or they're inside their house. Okay, great. So it seems like everything... Everyone we wanted to talk to is just not available. Fair enough. Okay. 
But no one has the bubble right now, so I think it's also possible that no one has it. But essentially, because we haven't, like, finished the uh, moving out event, whether we said yes or no, because we haven't done that event, it will keep propping, procking that event every day or so until we say yes or no, and then it sort of puts it on cooldown for, like, a week or two. Um, so that's kind of why we're purposefully just ignoring it, because we don't want to wait like another two weeks before we can move someone else. We'd just rather wait like a day or two so we can just move out the person we want to move out. Um, and also, oh my gosh, our gold rose has grown in, and does that not look delightful? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Um, now, do gold roses propagate on their own? Now that I have one, can I just like put it somewhere and it will just start like duplicating, start, start making copies of itself? Or does it always need to be next to the black rose? I'm not sure how it works. I'm assuming the gold rose is kind of special in that regard. Oh, Marina, Marina moved. That was creepy. They're suddenly over there now. <laughs> anyway, let's get all that money. Let's get our little kitchen project done. Then we'll do the campsite. Thank you, Stuby. I know, right? I was actually looking back at some of the VODs from before we even um, worked on, like, the Layers restaurant and stuff. And just seeing where it all is now, like, seriously, this island has really come together over the last couple of months. Really, really cool. It's a really good sense of progress. Especially doing this on Twitch, where I can literally see how it looked like just, like, a month ago and see how far I've come. It's a really, really cool game. Love it. Anyway, how much did we need? We'll take out like 200 thou. And the, the cool thing is as well, we've still got like a couple grids on the island that we've just done nothing with. Um, so we've still got a couple projects we can do. Most importantly, our house, which we should definitely figure out at some point. <clears throat> no! No! Okay, so I think we just forced that to move by going inside and out of a building. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Do it again. Move. Oh, God. I don't know how it works. No one's, like, properly figured it out. Everyone's just kind of, like, spitballing here. But <laughs> all, all people know is that the balloon does move. See, look. Unless that was a gift one. Oh god, I don't know. It's, uh, it's so risky now to talk to anybody. Anyway, let's go get that kitchen island. And yeah, we still got technically a little bit over here as well, next to the diner, where all those flowers are. I'd like to get Eugene moved into the island so he can like run the diner and have his house next door. That'd be really cool. Oh yes, there we go. Ba -da -ba -ba. Nice, well that is unlocked in our catalogue now as well. If an amiibo villager moves out, can you invite them back with the same card? I mean, yeah, technically, if Hazel did want to move out, I can just pop her back in. But there'd be a... I, I don't know how it works in canon. I'm trying to think how we would, like, rationalise it. They'd be mind-wiped. Um, and when they come back on the island, they wouldn't remember that they were ever here before. Um, <laughs> once you leave, you leave for good. And if, if at any point fate decides that you're back on the island, you're essentially your new self. Um, it's kind of like the Lost Island from the show Lost. Where you're not technically yourself anymore once you're on the island. Um, so let's not think too deep about all the implications. Um, <laughs> let's just carry on with our fun little cartoon animal village. <laughs> oh god, it's staying on her. Oh no. That's fine, that's fine. It means it can move. It means it can be on someone else. Or is it just Hazel today? Is it like t a 24 hour thing? Oh, I don't know how it works. Why is it not on Marina or Darwin or Plucky? And Kiki, that's really weird. That is... That was kind of creepy. <laughs> well, I guess we'll check up on them anyway. Man, I've got a really blocked nose today. I can feel it. I'm really sorry. 
Pocky's just here in their super basic house as well. I just want them to move out and spread their wings. It's really sad. I mean, I guess I could have gifted them a bed at literally any point, but... No. <laughs> Okay, so now we got all this camping stuff. Let's do up our campsite. Um, I did sprinkle a bunch of weeds around it last night. So here we go. It looks a lot more wild. I like it. Those trees are growing in as well. I think we might need a few more over here on this side. Just to really, really, like, space it out. Um, but what are the things we've got? Okay, so... Oh, we've got enough space here now to actually put the pathing back in again. So let's do that too. I don't know if we can put the custom design on it as well, if it, or if it's too close. We'll see how it works. Here we go. Um, oops, wrong one. Yum. Ah, nice. There we go. That's pretty cool. The weeds do not affect the island rating. The weeds do not count as the clutter that Isabella's complaining about. So, ignore that. Weeds are fine to have as decoration. Now, do I round it out a little bit like that? Or do I keep it smooth and straight? Nah, we round it out. <laughs> Who wants straight things on this island? Lovely, there we go. Yeah, that came out really well. That looks really good. I just wish we could curve this bit without being a grass patch in the way. That's the only thing that's wrong with it. But maybe we can use items as a way to sort of cover it up. That seems a bit dangerous. Um, I'm not sure where we should put this exactly. Maybe not right next to the fire. Um, Let go a step further. It can. Okay, we might swap it around like that then instead. And actually bring this in here. And then have the stove thing in front of it here. Or oh, not. Oh, it won't let me? That's a shame. Hold on. Maybe we can do it like this. And push it onto the edge. Mm, that's kind of okay. That kind of looks okay. We, we'll go with that. Maybe we rotate it so it's actually... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Um, right, what else did we get? What else have we got? We've got a tin bucket. Yeah, I do have a very straight river on my island, but that is specifically a canal. Like, they're meant to look like that. <laughs> that's fine. Um, hey, we can kind of have the bucket next to the fire. That doesn't look too weird. And then that also helps make it not look perfectly square. Also, have you noticed that when it's raining... It ripples in the bucket? Oh my god, the detail in this game. That is crazy. What the heck? It's <laughs> oh, I haven't uploaded the chip one yet. If you guys want that for your own island, I can cert certainly do that. Is that enough space to walk around? No. Ah, the problem is the space. I think we're going to have to just move one of the benches back a bit and just... Because we just need the space to work with it. There we go, that's a bit better. Um, okay, and then the sleeping bag. Oh, no idea where to actually put that. I could just, like, put it here. Or, or, or not. Um, that's fine too, also. There we go. Oh, wait. Bear with me. Um, <laughs> bear with me. There we go. We can just have it there like that. That's fine. Egg? Did you say egg? Did you see an egg? Wait, did you actually see an egg? Oh my god. 
Genuinely, there are eggs everywhere. Nemo came to the island and put them all down and ruined my island rating, and I can't find them all, and I keep finding random ones behind a tree. What do we do? Fiona, you're the egg expert. The expert. Okay, Fiona just walked off when I said that. Um. <laughs> so I do want to put this wash tub down as well, weirdly. Oops. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Oops. Um, <laughs> that's uh, interesting, actually. That could actually be quite useful. Huh, hold on. I didn't realize they would work as... Oh, of course they do. Why didn't I think about that? Maybe I could make it look a bit better then. Hold on. Might make a couple more of these as well then. Then we can put the stove on top of that. That looks a lot better. Is that safe? I don't know if that's safe, but whatever. <laughs> now you can play the washboard and the guitar. We have fun. Um, so... <laughs> bucket in as well. Oh, not enough space to walk around though, and I want it to have space to walk around. Okay, there we go. Portable radio. Oh, that'd be good to just hold on. I think that's fine, right? Maybe bring that forward just a smidge like that. And again. Oh, no, 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 can't fit. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure the wash tub is essential, I'm gonna be honest. Is that a sea shanty coming through? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they're right next to a river, right? Right? They can just wash themselves in the swamp. That's fine. Yeah, I think this looks all fine. This looks good, right? Campsite? The thing? Wondering if we can actually now move that bench forward. I just really wanted to use some items to cover up the corners of this, but... Oh god, wait, not like that. Oh god! <laughs> Maybe just... I don't know, that's fine, right? You can access all the benches. Yeah, whatever. Wait, oh my god! <gasps> you actually kick up mud when it's raining! Seriously, the detail in this game! <laughs> It squelches more when it's wet. This is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, there we go. I think campsite complete. I don't think I think anything else would just kind of bog this down. We don't want to overcomplicate it. I think this is just about the right level of items to make it look like a campsite. Um, I think I just need a few more trees. I think maybe one more tree behind that tree. Like, here-ish. Um, and then a couple more trees over to this side. Although maybe once these are grown in, it will look fine. Who can say? 
Um, and then we'll just put a couple weeds sprinkled over here as well so they can grow in. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that'll look good. Okay, nice. Right, now i got to figure out what I'm doing with my own house. I've spent so long, so long, um, spending so much time doing all these little projects for the rest of the island, I've spent no time on where I actually want to put my house or what I want to do with it. So, I guess it's about time to actually properly plan this out, eh? Bustle! So, my initial thought last week um, was that we use this as a sort of fairy ring and on these um, brown splotches that's where rocks will hopefully spawn in um, and then we can have a sort of fairy ring outside our house and then our house will be up here as a sort of castle with two inclines on either side leading up to it and we can have essentially a fey castle in the fey woods because then we'd, we'd turn this whole thing into like a forest all the way around it um, Hmm. Don't worry about this orchard being here. We can always move these trees down south instead. The, these orchard trees are just here because I've got nowhere else to put them right now. But those aren't necessarily permanent. I want to I wanna basically look like I'm in the middle of a fey forest. And when it gets to autumn and those mushroom items become available, you know, I want to sprinkle those around. Make it look for, you know, make it look like an actual, an actual, well, fey forest, basically. Little stepping stone paths. Um... But yeah, the main trick, the main problem, is actually figuring out where to put the actual house proper so that it's perfectly in the middle. Because as far as I'm aware, houses are actually only five wide, but to do the fairy ring, we need six wide. Or at least in this format. Um, so... We'd have to either have the house off to an angle, and then have a space like on the left or on the right, or we just change the shape of the fairy ring and just don't have it be this symmetrical. Because I wanted the house to be perfectly in the middle. You see on the minimap in the bottom right corner, this grid right here, you see the whole grid? This is like the grid that's like the middle of our island, like right here. And so I wanted the house to be like perfectly in the middle of the middle grid. But there's no way to have it perfectly in the middle if it's only five wide. Because it's either going to have to be one square to the left or one square to the right. So, I think basically that dream is dead, and there's no way I can have it perfectly in the middle. But I've also been thinking, you know, the whole nature of Fae and stuff is, like, chaotic. Like, they wouldn't have it be perfectly in the middle. They'd have this castle just appear out of nowhere, and it would just, like, plop itself in the middle of a forest. So it doesn't terribly matter. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still not completely happy about that. I, I had the idea of where I wanted it, and now I can't do it. But... You know, worst case scenario, we can still we can still make it look good, I think. It's just going to be slightly askew. Um, that mole cricket is super annoying. You're right. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what I'm going to do before I forget? Because you guys are asking in it, uh, bleh, for it in the chat. I am going to upload those patterns quickly that you guys have asked for. Um, just because Abel's closes at 9, so I want to make sure we, we do it before I forget. Oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm doing my own ones, there we go. Right, so we have a lot of this stuff already uploaded. We have Swamp uploaded, but we don't have Chip uploaded, so there we go. There we go. So again, whenever you need to remember what my code is, you can just do exclamation mark ACNH in chat, and it will give you my whole library, my whole collection. Um, anything else you guys need? I mean, all this stuff is kind of pretty doable, simple stuff for your own. I mean, a green screen and the um, the road. I mean, those are, you can imagine, pretty easy to make yourself. Um, so I won't bother uploading those. Um, maybe the cobblestone? That could be good. We've been using that a fair, a fair bunch of places. Fair enough. There we go. I think that'll do for now, though. So most of the other stuff is already up there. So there we go. 
It is super hot here as well, Bear Quizzler. Both of us just kind of woke up just drenched in sweat. It's crazy. Like, I don't know where all the heat just suddenly came from. It's like it just happened overnight. Zoe, can you make a design of regular stone but with cat paw prints that connect up? Oh my god, I mean, yes, but you'd have to pay me like a million bells. Or like 50 McMiles tickets. <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot of McMiles tickets this week because eventually that balloon is gonna move to someone that we wanna move out and then as soon as their plot is available, we are going to be on the search for Coco. We are going to try and get Coco so that we can finally have the band Coco and the Nuts with all of our squirrels in the village. And then Coco. Come on. It needs to happen. You spent 28,000 miles to get a cat and didn't get a cat and then an alligator moved in? Yikes. I mean, there's a lot of cats in the game. That is some pretty bad luck. Although I guess 28 chances out of like 400 villages, I guess that's still actually quite low. Um, <laughs> not even 28 chances, is it? That's like half of that, so 14 chances. I mean, actually those odds are pretty low. Actually, I'm not surprised you didn't get a cat now. <laughs> that looks like a long fish. That looks like a special fish. Is that just me? It's going to be a bass, isn't it? But <laughs> what if? <gasps> oh my gosh. Called it. Sort of. I didn't really have that much faith, but I thought maybe... I could just tell from the shadow, it was slightly longer. They have a slightly different shadow. And I could tell. Oh my gosh. Okay, that means I have three cedar camps now in my storage. So when um, CJ's next here, I can finally get the cedar camp statue. And then put it outside the museum, because I guess that doesn't technically count as a fossil. Um <laughs> <gasps> wow, that was... What? Oh my god, that was one of my Nook Miles challenges to catch a cedar camp. Amazing. Here we go. I only got a thousand miles for that though. I feel like that deserves more. Anyway. <laughs> right, hit some rocks. We're going to be wanting to do that anyway. Um, because we do want to, like I say, plan out our fairy ring. But a bit different to how we currently have it. We're going to try and space it out assuming um, that there's only a five width for my house now instead. Because there is. And I got it wrong last time. Wait, there's also a cedar camp in the fossil wing? That's so confusing. How can there be a fossil of them if they're still alive? <laughs> that, that, that's, not, that's proof of God right there. <laughs> God obviously placed the fossils down to test us and then was like, aha, got you, they're still alive. Definitely that's what happened. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. I need to move my house, that's it. Yeah. I want to relocate. I want to do it. I want to. Move by the following morning. Okay, I'm not quite ready for that level of commitment. I mostly just want the plot in my inventory so I can space it out. Um, <laughs> only 30,000 bells for my own house. That's, yeah, let's do it. Okay, okay. We got the moving kit. This is this is it. We're getting closer. I told you guys we'd do it by the end of this week. And as we got like to yesterday, you guys weren't believing me because I hadn't made any progress. But we're gonna do it. It'll happen. Okay, so Hazel is definitely the one with the balloon on them today because it keeps appearing on them whenever we reload the area. So, oh well. Hopefully tomorrow, like I said, it's Derwin or Plucky. But for some reason, they're not going outside. 
Like, I have not seen Derwin or Plucky outside, like, properly. It's been raining for, like, the last few days. Maybe they just don't like the rain. Weird, because Derwin's a duck. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we actually catch them tomorrow. Maybe they know. Maybe they know the problem. They know that they're going to get kicked out. Okay, so... As I was saying, as you can see here, if I put the plot down... It's um, one, two, three, four, five spaces wide. But we allocated a six space wide plot. So um, that's not going to work. So the fairy ring that is five spaces wide cannot happen. So we need to redo this. Also, I think I'll use light dirt underneath the rocks. I think that'll look better. More, more fey, more, more bright. So instead, we're going to have to do it like this. Nope, not like that. Hold on. <laughs> Thankfully, we can just pick those up. So it would kind of be like this instead. What do you guys think? It's still fine, right? Please tell me it's still fine. I just... <laughs> In a way, it's more cosy, but, um, I don't know, I'm just wondering if there is another... Could we space it out even more? No, because there's, like, one space between... What if we went, like, bigger than the house? So the house was five, but the ring was seven? Because I do want to put, like, mushrooms and flowers in the middle of each of the rocks, yeah. And we don't really just want one space to work with. So hold on, what if we aim for seven being the size? I've gone way off course here, hold on. Hold on, let me just- oh god. <laughs> also, yeah, we need enough space for the actual rocks themselves. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we want this to actually be seven, but then it doesn't look like a ring at all. Then it's going to be like a, a square, <laughs> the fairy square, which isn't really what I want. Oh God, I don't know. I've done it in the wrong place as well. look like that which is just it looks too there's too much gap in the middle it looks too wide it doesn't look like a circle it just looks like two different sections that happen to be next to each other <laughs> which is why I'm thinking if we actually bring in the top one oops not like that there's only six rocks on the island so we can only work with six points That's the problem. Unless I did use like the the fake stone rock. Is it stone or rock? I don't know. Oh, it's just gonna come up with a bunch of not that one. God. Yeah, like these ones, but not the mossy one. <laughs> Brilliant. I hope that was descriptive. Those ones. <laughs> but they don't match at all. Then I could just make my own fairy circle right now if I wanted to and not use the natural rocks. I don't know. I don't know. Why 
Why don't I rotate it so it's like 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10? Mm -hmm. There is that fossil that just looks like a rock. That's true. Worst case scenario, I just use that. <laughs> So like this instead is what you're saying. Which, oh, not like that, hold on. Grid. <laughs> so like that instead. That kind of works, I like it. I wish there was a way I could like overlay, <laughs> hold on, can I find an image of <laughs> Animal Crossing rocks and just put them over the stream right now? Give me a <laughs> Animal Crossing New Horizon rock. Crossing New Horizon rock. Images. No, no one's just got like a transparent image of the rock itself, do they? I just need to know what it looks like. I need to see it. I need to visualize it. What about a pentagram with the sixth stone in the center? Or what about a pentagram and it's just five stones and then I put the sixth stone over at the archaeological dig site? Hold on, if I, okay, if I f take a screenshot of this and then wait for the cloud to go out the way. Oh wait, the shadow's always gonna be there. Um, <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, so how do I pentagram it? Hold on, I should know this. like that. That's uh, a bit more demonic than what I was aiming for, but um... <laughs> oh sorry, actually we need one more space there. So like that. Yeah, um, I'm not comfortable with... <laughs> I, don't, I don't want it to be a pentagram, I've decided I want it to be six nodes. Yeah, I'm changing the design so that it can be parallel to the house. Like that. Wait, it's still too spaced out. Why have I... how have I messed up? Oh, but now it's too squished. Or is it? Is this fine? Oh, but now there's no space to actually put stuff in it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I genuinely don't know what the right move here is. <laughs> no, see, that's hilarious. <laughs> What if we spaced it out one more? It is like trying to make circles in Minecraft. Horrible. Now, now it's too, now it's too weird. Now it's too. Now I would have to go for seven. But then it's too much, too wide. Hold on, wait. Help 
me. <laughs> People what have just joined from Becky's stream, hello, we are having a predicament and I require more eyes, more viewers, um, to figure out just what the heck we're doing here. We're trying to plan out a fairy circle with rocks um, on Animal Crossing. That's, that's, what, that's where you've caught us at right now. Um, if you don't know, um, every time you break a rock, um, it has a chance to respawn, well, it will respawn somewhere else on your island where there's a free space. Um, a trick we can do is to cover up the rest of our island in items, except for these individual plot points, and essentially force the rocks that we break to appear in an exact spot. So, what I'm hoping to do is make a sort of fairy ring, a sort of fey circle, um, of rocks that I can then dot little, little mushrooms in between, little flowers in between. Um, but I'm messing up the circle size um, because the uh, the other problem is I want my my house to move here and be um, centered to it as well. So like this, you see how the house is five blocks wide. Um, so I'd want the ring to be like center to that as well, and I don't know how to pull that off. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know how to make it look like a circle with just six points at this width. We have six nodes to work with, but to make it a circle we really need like eight or ten nodes. Because just six makes it just look like a hexagon. <laughs> it looks bad. Um, <laughs> it does not look like a circle. And I don't know how to make it look like a circle. We've thought about that green again. We have genuinely thought about that. But it, it, it doesn't work. I haven't found items that I like putting on the side. I don't know. There was a guy on the Reddit today who has seven rocks. What? That's a bug. That must be it. That's not official. We can't make that happen. It would be great if we had that, but I don't think we can, like, count on us being able to make that happen. So what if we- okay. Hold on. So, welcome to the stream, everyone that just joined from the raid. This is literally it for the next half hour. We are just trying to plot out a circle. I hope that's okay. <laughs> um, okay, so... If we just if we just draw a clock... God, what am I doing? If we just draw a clock, it's... <laughs> that's not even a... I don't even know what I'm doing. Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? <laughs> Why is it squished? Okay, hold on. Okay, so we've made a square. Brilliant, well done. Um, the middle. Here are the hands. No, I don't need to add the hands. What am I doing? <laughs> um, okay, so how do we now turn this into a circle? Also, there's a balloon on the way. I'm not sure I'm that fussed about it. Unless it drops, like, a circle pattern. Brilliant. Here we go. Top-down view works better. Just use that from the beginning. <laughs> so how do we circleify this? These ones should be out one more. Yeah, I think I thought so. It didn't look right. But then it's just then it's just a square. Then it's not a circle at all. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. 
This is not a circle. Nothing about this is circular, guys. <laughs> It's so literally the opposite of what I said. Oh my god. But if we now use this as a guide... Then the brown marks would be where we put our rocks. Uh, I realise they're both brown. I mean the darker brown. <laughs> Squid, help me then. If you're such an expert, <laughs> tell me how to make this happen. Bad, right? Move the left parts one to the left, and then we're just back where we started. <laughs> then we're literally just back where we started with the original pattern we had at the start of today. Seriously, <laughs> that would be exactly where we were at the start. <laughs> Now rotate it 90 degrees. Oh, my head hurts. Okay, hold on. That is a circle, apparently. Um, <laughs> I know, look, I know, I'm being judged right now heavily from people watching. I don't, I'm working with very limited properties here. I'm just <laughs> I only have six nodes, six points for the circle to be plotted, which is very hard to work with when I'm in a square-based, grid-based game. If I had like eight rocks on the island, I could, I could make it happen, but six is very tricky. Move the sides with two out one. Okay. Okay, Molly, if you say so. Kind of squished. I don't think it's. I don't think it's possible for us to make it not look squished either horizontally or vertically. It's always going to look slightly off because of what we're dealing with, unless we literally made it m m like massive, like 15 blocks wide. But we're not going to do that. Yeah. See, that's that's a consideration as well. Like the rocks aren't actually in yet. The decoration isn't in yet. We don't have flowers and mushrooms all interspersed to like make it look more circular. Like when we can use like. Okay, that's actually a very good point. Like, assume the sand is um, a mushroom. Then we, th if we had like four mushrooms, we could plot it out like more circular by using the mushrooms as other points of the plot. Oh no. I'm gonna miss that one. Oh, where's my voting poll? <laughs> That's worse. That is worse. I agree. Um, also, it doesn't help. By. Oh god. Pixel circles are hard. Try this. Okay, I'm gonna click click a random link that Scofer has just sent to me. You know, as you do. Zoinks! You've taken a wrong turn. Brilliant. Didn't work. <laughs> 404. 
Just me? It's 404! <laughs> Oh wait, uh, it didn't add add it didn't add the dot jpeg at the end for some reason. Hey, <sighs> it's fine. Um, we got it. So okay, this is like a guide for making circles in Minecraft. Thank you. That doesn't help because you see how making circles in Minecraft you can have infinite blocks. Again, the problem I have is I only have six points to work with. <laughs> it doesn't really help when in Minecraft and other games you can literally just use infinite blocks to just draw a circle. In this game, we only have six to work with. Also, oh my god, I've confused myself with all these different variant shades. Okay, so mushroom. Yeah, if the mushrooms are the stone, then the stone can be the dirt. Um, <laughs> help me! God. <laughs> I wanted rocks! I wanted to actually plot it out! <laughs> oh my god. Deary me. <laughs> I didn't even get the last hit because of where the rock is. Oh my god, how did these both appear here as well? I want them on the circle! How has this happened? Okay, these stones will represent stones, and the stone um, path will represent mushroom. <laughs> oh god, what am I doing? <laughs> and then I just get iron, of course. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Thank you for gifting a sub to Becky. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I have probably just driven half of your raid insane. Um, okay. Okay, hold on. If we. Okay, just let's scrap it all. actually use these stones to draw an actual circle and then find the six points that are most like noticeable I don't know what I'm saying to <laughs> to make the circle proper right that's how math works I'm gonna need a few more resources though <laughs> help if I didn't just get iron all the time. Seriously, I have so much iron and so little stone right now. I've got like 90 iron at home and like 30 stone. Ridiculous. Also, all these rocks have come so close to the fairy circle, but none of them have taken the final leap. <laughs> okay, so. So. Okay. So. Okay. So. Drop iron. Damn it, not the whole stack! Oh my god! It doesn't even go on the grid. Oh, I've got so much stuff! Oh my gosh, everything is terrible. Okay, I'll use these as... <laughs> okay. It, it doesn't go on the grid, guys. Or is it on the grid? I can't tell. I can't tell where it, what I'm doing anymore.
Okay, it's on the grid. Right, so then we do... Okay, following this, this guide that Scofer linked me, we'll draw it with skeletons. <laughs> what am I doing? Hold on, wait. Oh god. Uh, wait, oh god. Help me, please. <laughs> I don't know how to just make. Oh god, I've got it in my head and I can't make it happen. Okay. You see how we're drawing a circle? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. There we go, I've drawn, a, I've drawn a circle out of skeleton, iron, and stone, which is very, very useful. Um, right, now we just need the six most relevant points. Someone else figure that out. Um, <laughs> posted how to do in the discord yeah but i don't go to the discord <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my gosh i can't get more than six points that's the problem there's no way to get more than six points can anyone on the discord like link the image to me <laughs> I can make a circle of mushrooms, no problem. I can have like infinite mushrooms technically, right? And I can literally make a pattern that looks like a mushroom right now and we're done. But then I just need to interject six little rocks in the middle. So you'd have the four corners, one, two, three, four, and then two on center left and right. Wait, what's the corner? Wait, why have you just said corners for a circle? My head hurts. <laughs> Oh, Scofer, oh my god, no, uh, do it, oh god, make a VIP do that link, I'm so sorry, Scofer. I know you're trying to help. <laughs> this is a mess. This is chaos. This is absolute calamity right now. I have no idea how to actually just draw a damn circle. Seriously. Okay, I got that one from, okay, thank you, Wolfie, I got that one from the deleted message. Oh, wait, you just sent it on Twitter, that's a lot easier, <laughs> instead of everyone getting back. Okay, that's made out of stumps though. I see what they've gone for, but there's no way to do that with rocks because there's only two on the... I can't do that. It needs to be an odd number. There needs to be a middle point for me to use six stone. Because if it's two instead, then I can't middle that. I can't... You know what I mean? I think it needs to be an odd number. Oh, 
I know I'm gonna have to compromise, but I'm just trying to think how well we can get it. I know it's never ever gonna be a perfect circle, but how close can we get? Oh wait, if you rotate it 90 degrees, it becomes odd centered. Is that how maths works? Oh my god, that's how maths works! Wait, okay, hold on. <laughs> Okay, so if we make it rotated instead like this and then yeah 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 and then the one two and then the one and then the wait how do I rotate in my head help wait is that how wait wait how does it wait <laughs> Go back to this first, because my head my head is hurting really badly now. <laughs> okay, so if we have okay. Damn you, Nemo. Damn you! <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to use eggs as a marker. No! Um... <laughs> okay. Um... So if the eggs are where we're going to put the rocks, not the rocks, the rocks are just to mark where we're going to put the mushrooms, the eggs are where we're going to put the rocks. <laughs> so imagine the eggs were rocks. And everything else was mushrooms. Not the rocks. The r Imagine the rocks are mushrooms, and the eggs are rocks, and the skeletons are also rocks. No, the, the skeletons are mushrooms, the iron is mushrooms, the eggs are rocks, and the rocks are mushrooms. Right? Imagine that. And I actually think this would probably be the best layout. Right? Are we all unanimous on this? Can we get a poll that says, go with this, please make it stop, or no, try again, you can make it better? <laughs> oh! Crack shot! There we go. Butterfly is blessing my fairy circle. The butterfly has appeared where I want my fairy circle to be. I think that's a sign, guys. Wait, you don't think Panda's here? Am I gonna have to do the poll? Okay, fair enough. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. So... You got a message. I got a message on my phone telling me to come and help you. What's wrong? 
Yeah, please help me. Wait, yeah, before I do the poll, actually, maybe I just get your opinion instead. Okay, so I'm trying to make a fairy circle. Okay, out of rocks. Okay, so you see these things, these rocks that can appear on the island, yeah. right? Up to six of those can be on an island. So I can have six rocks, which means I have six points to make a circle with. The game is entirely grid-based. So um, what you can do is when you break a rock, it respawns in a new place on the next day. So eventually, given you know two weeks of work, I can make all the rocks eventually appear to be wherever I want them to be. Um, so... I can't just pick them up, but over a few days, eventually we can get it to be where it is. But I need to plot out where I want is to be. So, imagine the eggs are rocks, and the rocks are just flowers or something. Um, and the iron is also just flowers, and the skulls are also just flowers. Imagine, imagine the eggs are rocks. Um, <laughs> would that look like a good fairy circle? And then all the other items here would be just like sprinkles of mushrooms or something, you know? Does that, does that not make it skewy? We're going to try Fiona's theory here. This is going to be called Fiona's theory, everybody. So if it sucks, don't blame me. Um, okay, so... Oh, does Sonya want an opinion too? I'm <laughs> probably just excited to see you. Excited to see all the... Yeah, you're in the room. Okay, so this is Fiona's idea. The eggs are rocks. Yeah, I think that'll work because they'll be bigger than these, and it'll shape up to be pretty good. Yeah. Making a asymmetrical circle, but actually kind of makes it look like a circle. What you've done here. Okay. Chat, we're going to do a poll. Okay. Okay. So. No, we're going to do a poll of my circle, your circle, or just start over from scratch. You know what to do, chat. Please don't 50 50 <laughs> this. Come on. No, it's three options. It's fine. Okay. Zoe, egg, circle. Oh, yeah. Go do Stardew. <laughs> Okay, we're going to put this on for three minutes. We've started the poll. Fairy ring. Again, my one was to have the eggs be at the exact points. Fiona's one is to have them like this and be a bit more stylized. Zoe's circles look better on paper, but Fiona's looks better in practice. I, I, yeah, I won't completely disagree, but I guess that's what we, you know, that's kind of the, the thing you're voting on. Do we want it to be immediately obvious that a circle was attempted, or do we want them to sort of look at it for a bit and be like, oh, a circle. <laughs> you know, I do kind of like what Fiona's done here. I would never have thought of just purposefully making it like diagonally skew if, but it does kind of work. I'm not kidding. However, if you vote for me, I won't ban you. So, you know. Squid, you, you gave me nothing but melons. All Squid you did was just melon me. Just like, oh, I could do a circle in arc. <laughs> That's you, that's what you sound like. Okay. So review of mushrooms where the rocks are, you won't be able to get all the ore or money. I honestly don't care about that. This is purely decorative. I'm assuming by the point that this fairy ring is done, I won't technically need to mine them all day. Um, and I'll still be able to get some resources out of it if I absolutely need them. And I can always just go to a Nook Miles Island instead. 
Like, I think fashion over function here, you know? <laughs> You said skip one, skip two, skip one, skip two, which would have led to this. What? No, well, how was I supposed to know what you were talking about? You just randomly said skip one, skip two. I could say hop five. What does that mean? <laughs> Jump seven. Make a circle. God, can we ban squid? I don't know why I'm asking. I can just do it. <laughs> okay, I think the poll results, results <laughs> are pretty unanimous. I think we're going with Fiona's idea. However, I did also see another suggestion to um, take it a step further. What if we swapped these around? Again, eggs are markers. So it was like that. Just just a small change, just a small difference. Do you want the original or do you want this? <laughs> JP Gojoy gave a thousand bits on that poll. <laughs> why? <laughs> Thank you, but why? <laughs> Oh, that's good, but could you rotate at 90 degrees? Get out, Zincat! Get out! <laughs> okay, so this, where the eggs are the rock. Two two one two two one. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Two two one two two one. You could kind of like shorthand that and just be like skip two, skip two, skip one, and that would be really easy to understand. Heading to freedom with Fiona. I don't blame you. If you guys want to pop off now and go watch Fiona do some Stardew Valley and get away from this insanity. Fair enough. They're live right now. Um, but I'm just going to continue for just a tiny bit longer because now we have to actually plan out the cliff and where the house is actually going to be um, in connection to that. So not much longer. Just like five more minutes. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Um, <laughs> While we just figure out what we're actually doing. That's fair. Whatever you want to do, don't worry. We'll be raiding Fiona at the end of this anyway, so you won't miss too much. But yeah, this is ridiculous. Making circles with just six points in Animal Crossing. Oh my god. I don't know. of the land we're going to be working with um, for the top layer. The house is going to be up here. Um, that's perfectly in the in the middle, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's five blocks wide as well. Huh. Wow. This works. Okay. Are we, are we going with this then? Do we want the fairy ring to be lower? Higher? Like we could we could move it down here a smidge. Hello. Hello. Right where it is. 
That does give us a bit to work with around here, so we can make we can bring this in, for example, and make a bit of um make a bit of a foresty area around it before the river just immediately appears. Yeah, that's fair. So we're actually gonna we're actually gonna bring all this in just a step further as well. Just so we have even more space to work with. And that shouldn't affect anything too much because the canal doesn't start until like here. So we've got enough space to add a fairy area here. A fairy, if you will. Um, right. So now I need to figure out where the inclines are coming in. Because we want two like staircases of like fey nature um, on either side. So like have it like that no we'd probably have it one step back from that like here so the incline would come in here and then ditto on the other side completely symmetrical is that symmetrical <laughs> Like that. Okay, nope. <laughs> like that. There we go. So two inclines there on either side. We're sort of making a fey castle in the woods. In the fey enchanted woods. With a fairy ring outside. Mushrooms when we eventually unlock those. Uh, might use custom designs until then. Um, and then we want it to be like... We want it to be wild though. We are putting in a very basic um, form... Uh, what's the word? Serious plotted out structure right now, just so we can have the base skeleton there. But then we'll add like random little bits on the side of it to make it more chaotic. I just want to get the the skeleton right so we can symmetrify it. Wait, we could actually make it be a circle here too. We could do multiple circles. We're good at those now. That's not a circle at all, but whatever. <laughs> I like ducks. Squid, what the heck? <laughs> Thank you very much, oh my gosh. That is a lot. I really thought this stream would have infuriated you and you wouldn't be here, but <laughs> thank you. What? I really like ducks, honestly. I, okay, I, I think that's been well established now. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> what the heck a doodle? Please give me Zoe shiny. Oh my god, that's what you're- Okay, that makes sense now. I realise now. <laughs> oh my gosh, how close are you? That, oh my god, you really wanted the Zoe shiny. <laughs> you are certainly pleasuring the goblin. The bit goblin right now is gobbling up your bits. That <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> to be continued, quack cry. Oh dear, oh okay. The duck is sad. <laughs> Thank you though, oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. Ridiculous, I suppose we could say. Thank you, that's crazy. Nine thousand away from Zoe Shiny. Ooh. Well, it would be a shame if I was about to announce that all the bit emotes are going to be replaced. Um, no, 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 I promise, I promise, that's not going away. I promise. <laughs> However, I did just get an email from Twitch last night about some changes coming to some things that I probably shouldn't spoil. Um... Perhaps those that have tier 2 and tier 3 subscriptions 
may find even more benefits coming their way. We shall see. Hypothetically. <laughs> Now, I wish I could have this be... Yeah, the problem is I can't have that be curved without moving the whole cliff entirely, so... I think we're going to chop this tree down. We got the money from it, so... I would like to do a few stumps dot dotted around the, the fairy ring as well. And um, I don't know if you... I told you about this trick a few days ago, but... Um, where did I put it? Here? So whatever stage the tree is in, when you chop it down, it will leave behind a stump of that shape. So that works for the very, very basic sapling, and the slightly grown tree, and I the full like tree. I don't like ducks as much as some people, but might as well throw in my extra bits. <laughs> thank you, Avenue. That's very kind. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the bit emotes. There's a few bit emotes at the early tiers as well that you unlock just for like a thousand bits or something. Um, there we go, thank you. Um, but yeah, we can use like different stages of trees to get different types of stumps down. So I can make a sort of like wild stumps of like different varying sizes all littered around the ring as well, which I think could look very cool. Um, so this one, for example, this tiny tree here, this would be a different size stump to the big one, you can tell. Doesn't anyone like bears anymore? <laughs> We've kind of moved on from bears. I think we're back to, what are we on now? Goblins? Does anyone want to be a little pleasure goblin? What am I saying? We've moved on from bears, Bear Chris. We've moved on. They've had their moment in the sun. So what I'm thinking is the incline looks kind of like this, where we've got a bit of like side, like angle on each side of it. But how do we then make the top bit fit in? It's almost like little turrets at the front of the castle here. Huh, that's pretty cool, actually. We could put like a um. Can we put like a silo up there actually? That could actually work quite well. We could actually make like a castle turret. That could be quite cool. Oops. Um, hi Centipede. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so if we have it like this. Okay. Sozo like. This is good. Okay, I think we'll um we'll add just one more extra bit here. Oop, opposite that. Oh god. I need the grid. <laughs> there we go. So if we do it like this. There we go. Okay, so imagine two staircases on either side leading up. You know, as opposed to down, I guess. I don't know why I had to specify where they were leading. Um, <laughs> and then we'd have like, we'd have like a sort of water feature here at the front bit. And then maybe some simple panels or a gate. Oh, we want like a sort of castle gate. Oh, so we'd want like a few paths here that lead across here. And then the big gate can be here. And then behind that, in the court, there'll be a bit of a courtyard here. Oh, we might be pushing quite far ahead here, guys. We might be needing quite a bit of space here for this entire project. Yeah, I'm thinking a moat. But, like, in front of it. But I don't know if it'll let us put an incline here with the water in the way. It'd be really cool if it does. I was thinking of doing something like this. And I wonder if it'll let us do... No, it's not going to let us make it diagonal, is it? Not on this bit. How do we make it diagonal here? 
I don't want it to look square here, but... Okay, we can do it like that. Then it's sort of like a smiley face at the bottom of my house. <laughs> I guess we could... Hmm, hold on. Does that look good? That looks a bit better than it being diagonal the other way. I don't think we're going to be able to do it diagonal on both sides unless I did something crazy with it. It's not going to let me do that because it's too close to the cliff. Okay. Yeah, what do you think? Just a nice little moat in front of it. And then there could be a statue here on this bit. And then you'd have paths, like big stone paths, arch tile. Like here, and here, and here, leading from the inclines that are coming up here, like that, and then you'd have like a big statue of me here, brilliant. And then you'd lead up here to a sort of gate that's here. So this would be these would be like walls. And you'd have a big like gatehouse in the middle. Oh, not quite, there we go. You'd have like little flower beds in front of it maybe. Or behind it in the courtyard. Either way, we're gonna be needing a lot more sp what is wrong with this? Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna be needing a lot more space than I thought for my project here. For a proper fake castle. Makes sense. I mean, it's going to be like the heckin' like signature piece of the island, you know? It's going to be the big beat. The big, the big beat. <laughs> the big bit. <laughs> and then you'd have the wall kind of... You'd have like two turrets here. Statue here. I don't really know what we'd have in the front here. We could probably squeeze a few flowers in. Maybe one. Maybe like a gold rope. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go, really. I mean, I could even, like, bring it forward one and then move the fairy ring down just one. Right, and then we'd have, like, a courtyard here with, like, a fountain. Mm. Um, so that is... Uh, I wish I could see what size it is. I think it's... Three by three? Is it three by three? I think it is. Okay, so that that would fit in very well then. Um, almost perfectly actually. We will need a lot more space than I thought. Oh god, um, we're on a bit of a time limit on my stream here today, it looks like, guys. <laughs> it's fine, we have to wrap up for Fiona anyway, but we're just going to try and just... If we can just get the position of our house nailed, then we can work on the actual design and decor and everything in the week. I think it's going to be like right back here is how far it's going to stretch. See, I want to have Rooster's Roost up there for the plaza, but I think that'll cut off enough assuming it'll be about this wide then we can bring the cliff in here and still have enough space at the back of our house to build our actual castle so and we're not really going to be connecting anything beyond that anyway because the rest is going to be the campsite mountain which can kind of be its own thing on this side so maybe we don't need to have the path at the back anyway Maybe now, I'll see. I, I wouldn't. I, w I mean, I wouldn't be sad either way. Like the fact that Rooster's Roost is in at all would be great. But I also would just like to have another building on the island. You know, just another thing to, to design with. I don't know. Right. Let's just take these away, and then we'll have a little back path up here leading to the pirate cove. Um, 
Which is kind of interesting having behind my castle. It could be like my escape tunnel. My smuggling route or something. Ooh, that could be kind of cool actually. We could actually combo them together potentially. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, you can say all you want about Sahara and the ridiculous amount of menu faffery you have to do just to get the rugs, but do not say a bad word about my friend Kix. The first skunk on my island. I love Leaf as well. I do like Leaf. There's nothing wrong with Leaf, but the problem is when Leaf is here, and I've already kind of bought all the brushes and stuff I want, it feels like there's never anything new. I hope Leaf just kind of gets to open their own garden shop on the island. I honestly thought that was what they were leading up to. Like, he joins for Nature Day, and then at the end I thought it was going to be like, oh, you know what? I had so much fun seeing all your villagers celebrate nature, and I think I'll set up a shop here permanently. I genuinely thought that was what was going to happen. So a bit of a shame, but maybe in the future. Yeah, he had his little garden stall in the Nook's Cranny in, in New Leaf. I don't know if they'd do the same thing here. Nook's Cranny seems to be more of its own thing here, but at the very least, I feel like Leaf should get a shop. That feels, that feels right. Okay, so... I mean, looking at it from this angle, I can already tell how impressive it's going to look. How imposing it will look, even. Okay, so if we had, like, something in the middle here, we have a bit of a path leading around like this. We have a bit of a front garden, sort of, here. I think I'm going to need the house to be even one step further back than this, awkwardly. I'll do all the futzing with the terraforming at the back off stream. I just want to figure out where I want to put my house. Because if we have a fountain in the middle, it's going to need to be at least wired like this. I don't think I will have a fountain in the middle, honestly. <laughs> I think that's going to cramp, cramp it up a bit too much. But um, I do think that's a good measurement for what the front courtyard should be here. With like some hedges or something. There we go. And then we could have like just something here. And then the house can be here. Right, how much space are we going to need for that? Okay, well, so it's going to be two more spaces at the back there. But I think, I think that'll be good. I think that'll be where we end up putting it. Here we go, let's see. My um, controller is low on battery. Fiona is about to start their Stardew stream. They are doing some marbles right now, apparently. Um, so we do have a time limit here. I won't be longer there than... Th bleh. I won't go past six o'clock. Um, but I think this... Officially, there we go, is what we're going to do. I'm also going to actually just increase this one as well. Just so we have some space to put some items in there. And probably this bit as well. There we go. There we go. That looks a lot better. I've forgotten how I did it already. <laughs> Like that, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you have a wall going back here. Okay. I think I want it to be just a step further. Because we've got the 3x3 three three entrance here, but this is going to be where the gates are, so I want it to be 3x3 three three after that. So I actually want it to start here. Oh, not there. Oh god. I need the grid! <laughs> so the 3x3 three three would actually be here. 
like a, a plant or a tree or something on each side, a topiary. Um, and then gates would be here with the wall here. Wall would probably double back a little bit as well and go like up here. And then the house would officially, officially be here. I think a step further, a step forward, because then the that nice little stone entryway can be on top of the 3x3 three three bit here. We can put a path under it, don't worry that it's been removed. There will be a path underneath it. We'll also change the decor so it doesn't look like a weird creepy dungeon. We'll turn it into something a bit more regal and foresty and fae like But I think that is a good spot. So yeah. All I have to do is click OK. And we're committed. And this is going to be where our castle is. OK. My um, my controller has run out of battery. So I'm going to end the stream there. Um, and tomorrow. Um, we will put that down. And oh man. Wouldn't that be exciting. Um, excellent. Excellent. Looking forward to it. Oh my gosh. Um, it's going to be good. Yeah, I'm going to... No, no, I'm serious. The, the controller didn't run out of battery, but I'm going to leave it as a bit of a cliffhanger. I'm going to just sit on that overnight, and then tomorrow we'll load up, we'll have a look at, like, what we what we settled on. We'll have another sort of run over it, commit to it, and then put the house down. And then over the weekend, we'll be able to start actually decorating it all. I think that'd be good. Because I can only do a short stream on Saturday and probably tomorrow as well. But then Sunday I can do a big stream. So as long as we've got the house moved in by Sunday, I can then spend all of Sunday just putting it all up. So that would be good. Similarly, I hope that someone's actually moved out by Sunday as well. Um, because then I'll also be able to do a bit of Nook Mile Island farming on the Sunday too. Because, again, I've got all the time in the world to stream on Sunday. So we could do a lot on Sunday. Um, but for realsies, there we go. I'm just going to rethink that. Sit on that for a day or two. But I think, as a core concept, once we've got the inclines in, once we've got some turrets set up, I think this will actually look really good. So yeah. Nice. Thanks for joining me once again today. We actually got a lot done there. Thank you so much to all the people, as infuriating as it was. Thank you so much to everyone that was trying to help with the fairy ring placement. I do think we've now settled on something really good for the fairy ring. I have actually genuinely no complaints about that. I think that's going to look great. I'll even start um, smashing up the rocks tonight and seeing if we can get them actually starting to move in. I might bring it just one space down. Just one space down, just so I can actually put like a line of hedges here and then have space, like a one gap space just before the ring actually starts. Because I do want it to have like a sort of entrance to the castle look. But apart from that, I think the ring is perfect. We'll work on that tonight. I'll do that off stream. Hopefully, maybe we'll even have a rock or two here appear tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all the advice and help on getting that rock done. Um, next thing we got to figure out is how we do actually want all this castle to be laid out. I think we got a good skeleton done, but it does need a bit of work before we're fully happy with it. Anyway, let's wrap up there. You've all been amazing. Thank you so much for all the love. Thank you to all of Becky's people, um, if you're still around. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the ridiculous people that gave a ridiculous amount of bits today. Seriously, it was crazy. Especially you, Squid. I don't know what was... Well, I do know what your motivation was. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I'm pretending. Of course, I know what you want. <laughs> you want that Psyduck emote. Fair enough. Um, right, let's save that. I'm going to go charge my controller. <laughs> and we're going to head on over to Fiona's channel for hopefully a nice evening of... Stardew and maybe some marbles as well. We'll see. Um, let's just wait for that to save. There we go. Lovely. Put that in sleep mode. Ta-da! And um, yeah, you're all amazing. Seriously, thank you so much for all the bits, all the resubs, all the messages, all the, the raid and everything. Seriously, it's been a crazy day today, actually. You guys have been really, really phenomenal. Thank you for all the love, as always. You, you guys are, are really, 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 really cool. Seriously. Um, there are some exciting things happening in June, potentially, it looks like, um, based on things I've heard. Um, also, June is also Pride Month, 
Um, so maybe we'll have, maybe we'll do like a special stream. Um, I think we also want to start doing D and D. Maybe we could like combo that, do a special like pride themed D and D where Fiona's going to a pride parade. But oh, what's this? Something is attacking, and then it goes into a whole dungeon run. I don't know, <laughs> some crazy idea like that. Um, anyway, let's wrap up there. Let's head on over to Fiona's channel. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I will be doing Animal Crossing again, as always, tomorrow for day 64. Um, tomorrow at uh, 4 o'clock, and then Saturday as well. And then Sunday will be a big one, hopefully, where we can get a lot done. Um, but yeah, for the rest of the day, enjoy Fiona's stream. Um, head on over there. Sorry, I, ty I typed it wrong. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And I'll see you then. Goodbye, and thank you once again. You're all amazing. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're all doing good this week. Um, I hope at least we're able to provide some kind of distraction if things are wonky right now. And um, yeah, see you again tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye.